That's right, baby. Cinco de Mayo is upon us in a couple of days. So I figure I would do something. Cinco de Mayo. Today we're going to make mole. Mole is indicative of Mexico. It's a sauce that uses dried chilies. I have guajillo chilies. They're a uh, light, smoky, berry flavored chili. I got ancho chilies. These ancho chilies are dried poblano peppers. I've already cut them open and taken the seeds out because I don't want too many seeds floating around in my mole. And then I have pasilla chilies. These are a little bit smoky. They're mild, kind of hot, but not really. Because I want to be able to adjust the picante in my mole. So I'm gonna add some chili pepper flakes anyway. This is a uh, 15 ingredient sauce, but it'll be well worth it. I'm gonna scent it with shallots, garlic, fresh ginger. I have a sweet plantain. That's gonna offset the chilies. I'm gonna peel it and chop this up. I'm gonna show you in a minute. We also, we're gonna uh, thicken it with both raisins and peanuts, some sesame seeds, a little bit of cinnamon and clove, and then chicken stock. And we're gonna finish it all with chocolate. And then I'm gonna fry some chicken wings and roll that mole all around my chicken wings, and we're gonna eat. So I took all the shallots, tengo los cebollas, ginebre, the ginger, the ajo, the garlic, all the chilies, the guajillo, pasillo, and ancho. It's the same in English. And I sauteed them. I added my chicken stock. I then brought it to a boil. Now, I'm gonna add my raisins. I add my raisins. See how the peppers are all rehydrating and everything's coming together. Nice dark brown liquid. And then I'm gonna take my peanuts and I'm gonna pop those in there as well. Peanuts are gonna give me a nice background flavor and it's gonna make it thick. Plus all of this other stuff that's going on in there gonna give us that nice, thick, sticky consistency. The Mexican Fantasma. Fantasma esta aquí. The ghost. I guess he didn't like my Spanish. So while our mole is simmering slowly, we're letting all those flavors come together. I'm gonna take my chicken wings, I'm gonna dust them with flour. We gotta get a nice coat of flour on it because we want the mole to stick to it. Gonna get them nice and crippy, crippy, crispy. Quiero bien cocinar, bien cocinar. Cooked all the way through. All right, let's party. All right, let's get frying. Nice, oops. So now that our mole has been cooking for about, I don't know, about 15, 20 minutes, the liquid has reduced. All the veggies and all the flavors are soft. We're gonna pull it off the flame. And we're gonna blend it with our immersion blender. See, with this, you don't have to pull anything out of the pan. You can just puree it right in it. So we're gonna puree everything together. Of course, you can use a blender blender. But if you have one of these, why not use it? While it's here and it's still hot and while you're pureeing it, we're gonna add our chocolate. The chocolate's gonna give it that nice, smooth, silky, distinct mole flavor that we're looking for. It will offset the chilies, it will offset the ginger. You know, you know it's just one of those coat your tongue, coat your palate, delicious. So we're gonna put it in while it's still hot and puree it, let it melt right into it. This is for you, Panchito. You see that nice glow and glisten? That's all from the chocolate. Yeah, cameraman. You are in for a treat. Can't have Mexican food without cilantro. Let's, let's chop up some cilantro. This is not time elapsed. This is real time, baby. Don't want to chop it up too much because you don't want to lick the flavor of cilantro out of your cutting board. You want it on the food. So we give it a little bit of like that. 
Chicken wings are fried, crispy, and ready. What happens now? That's right, we toss them in our mole. We take a little bit of the mole, put it in a saute pan, and then we're gonna toss our chicken wings right into it. Coat it up nice, coat it up nice, coat it up nice. And then we go lay it out nice, lay it out fine. It's got some juice to that boy, it got some hit. It's got some yippee ki yay yay to it. And then, we're gonna crunch up some of those peanuts. We mix it with our cilantro. And then. Mole de pollo. Happy Cinco de Mayo, good people.